everybody, welcome back. So uh, we are going to do a split Dutch pour today, kind of like we did with Illusion. Um, we're going to do more Easter themed colors um, because uh, this coming Sunday is Easter. And um, this is going to be part one of the part two series. Part two is we will come back and uh, seal it and I'll show you how I put the backs on my paintings and finish them up. But part one is just going to be the pour. Some people only like to see the pour. And so we're just going to do part one. And um, so these are our colors today. Uh, our black and our white are the uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Black. Ten ounces of My Pouring Medium Mixture. Two ounces of paint and one ounce of water. And I did add some of this PPG metallic tones, uh, the silver base, to all of the colors. So every single one of the colors has a metallic sheen to it. And um, it was about, I think probably about 2 ounces, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ounces of this metallic tones into the white and the black. And then I added the same amount of water to it. And then in the smaller ones, it was about 0 0.1 ounce um, with 0.1 ounce of water added to it. All of these colors are mixed the same except for our metallic gold. Um, so we've got the bare. So we're using some house paints today. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, bluegrass type green color. So this is Verdant Forest. We've got the Deco Art Outdoor Living Pansy. Bare. Um, blue Edge, and the Deco Art Americana Outdoor Living Garden Party. All of those are four ounces of pouring medium, one ounce of paint, and 0.5 ounces of water. And then we have our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics 24 karat gold, and that one was four ounce of pouring medium, 0.8 ounces of paint, and 0.8 ounces of water. So those are all of our colors, all of our mixture ratios. I'm going to get all of this stuff moved out and bring our canvas in, and then we will go from there. All right. So this is a 20 by 24 Artist Loft Level 1 canvas. One side was prepped with the DecoArt Americana Snow Titanium White, and the other side was prepped with the Americana Decor Outdoor Living Iron Gate. We are going to um, pour all of the colors in the middle. White on one side, black on the other. Pull the colors in and then push them out. All right, let's get started.
All right, we are gonna leave it just like that. Um, I'm probably gonna leave it here for the rest of the day. I'm going to put a topper on the excess paint so that um, we can use it in a flip cup. I was going to go ahead and do it now, but we are gonna hold off. And I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, get the edges to kind of harden up before I move it. So we will be back um, when this is dry enough to move and we will use these excess paints for a flip cup. See y'all soon. Hi everybody, we're back. Um, it has been about about four hours. Um, the painting was dry enough on the edges. They, they finally kind of firmed up and um, I was comfortable enough moving it. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to do a multi cup flip. Um, all the paints that we use for the other one so we don't have to go through colors and all that kind of stuff again. And we are going to go ahead and get this done.
All right, that is it. We are all done. We are going to let this dry right here. We have some beautiful lacing going on. Hopefully too many of these cells don't pop up, but we'll see what happens. So thank you very much for joining me for part one. I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. All right, so here is the closer look. All right, so thank you very much for watching part one. Down in the description, all of the paint colors used, as well as the mixture ratios and everything that you need to recreate both of these paintings. Um, part two, we will uh, seal these, probably put a vinyl on this one, and um, probably put the backs on them too. I'll show you how to put the backs on my paintings. But that's it. Uh, down in the description, all of the links to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my website, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing everybody in part two. And until then, God bless.